Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. I have another project. You know, it. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I wonder, maybe I should just try to like count sheep or something because sometimes when I'm laying in bed and something pops into my head and then I have this idea and yeah, then I start coming up with all the stuff. So I had to come downstairs and give this a try. Um, I'm not going to complete it today, though it'll be mostly complete. Um, let me, I've got such a pile of a mess over here, but I need to find my templates for you. Ignore this mess, <laughs> hopefully. I said I wasn't gonna do this anymore, ha <laughs> ha. Well, okay. All right, so this is what I came up with. I came up with something I just in my head, and while I was trying to put it together, now, I've not done one. Okay, so this is this is just me doing it, and hopefully it will turn out okay. So there's a couple things I know I'm going to run into a problem with, so I still have to think about that. But I can't I can't kind of bring it together until I see it more done, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do? I'm gonna move this stuff to the side. We are going to do something I have dubbed my. Um, wedding cake pocket okay so you are going to take now you can use um, regular scrapbook paper you know a double-sided or not it doesn't matter you can use a digital um, with me because I have my digitals get a white border like this I have to cut them down when I made the prototype I made it with regular copy paper and then I realized I cut it down anyway. So either way, but I'm gonna give you the measurements for what I have here. It's two pieces of copy paper, and you're going to cut one piece, this one's upside down. You're gonna cut one piece, 10 and a half inches. Okay, so that's like your regular 11 inch side. You're gonna cut it 10 and a half inches this way. And then you're gonna cut it eight inches this way. So 10 and a half by eight. You're gonna take a second piece of paper uh, and you're gonna cut it eight and a quarter by eight. So eight and a quarter by eight. And I have top up here so that I know that that's the way it has to be folded. Then what I did with this one is I drew the lines. I don't know, can you see the lines? Yeah, I think you can. I, do, I know I still have this shadow from my phone because I don't have another light that's coming in yet because we have electrical outlet issues they're put in places where I can't possibly reach so my husband's going to work on the lighting and he's going to work on the um outlets for me soon I hope because <laughs> we're about to get very busy in this next month so um so anyway what I did was I scored here at um what would be four and an eighth okay and I scored this one that would be four, okay? So that's four inches, four inches, four and an eighth, four and an eighth, okay? And that's the score. So it's gonna get folded up and it's gonna get folded over, all right? So that's that part. Then this one, it's a little more complicated. You are going to, now my scoreboard is the, we are memory keeper ones and it goes, because it's a scoreboard and a cutter, it goes from the left to the right instead of most people's scoreboards that go from right to left. So I just put it in and I scored it at one and a quarter. Well, actually I scored it at one and a quarter because this is where my side is. And then I flipped it and scored it at one and a quarter. So you can do that or you can score it at one and a quarter and then you can score it um, at five and a quarter and then at five and a half from here. Or, well, I, never mind. you know what? Just go one and a quarter one and a quarter, okay? And then you're gonna um, score it at five and a quarter, which is down the middle, okay? So essentially, you're gonna score here, and then all you really have to do is fold it in half, make the, make the edges meet, okay? Whatever that is for you. So then you have that, and then of course, that's gonna fold this way. So this is what you're gonna end up with when you're done, okay? So, um, what I did here on my template, well, let me put it up so the right side is up. You're going to cut the corners to make the layers. So I cut it out of the template here 
So this was from here to here was actually, um, I think I said it was three inches. You know what? Let me look on my, on my regular piece here. That's here. Okay. Nope. I don't know where I did it. Um, it should be like about three inches. Okay. You can do it on your template or not. I'm finding it easier not to. I'm just leaving this strip in here, okay? And just scoring here, scoring here, folding the paper in half and folding it again because I find it easier to do once the piece is here, okay? So you're gonna fold that, those two papers, like I said, now I only inked and stuff. Now I inked this, I used tea dyed paper I didn't use designer paper. I went around the edge with the vintage photo oxide, and then I did a little kind of modeling with the um, bundled sage and Victorian velvet, okay? And I did that on both sides, and you don't have to worry about the middle because you're not gonna see it. So that's what you're doing. Here's your paper. Here's your one and a quarter. Your one and a quarter, you fold it in half, okay? And you have that piece right there. This is gonna be your bottom. So this is where we're gonna start putting it together. And if you see, I drew those lines here where they were notched out on the template. I just drew them where I wanted them, okay? And that's where I'm just gonna cut it. And I'll just use the scissors to cut that down and that should be fine. So the first thing you're gonna do, it's a question of where you glue. So I wrote here that you're going to glue along the bottom. That's gonna be the first thing and the order that you glue in matters, okay? So just go ahead here. I'm running out of glue. I hope I'm in frame here. So try to just do a nice thin line as even as possible right across the bottom you know, thin, but thick enough to hold it because you want it to hold, okay? And you're gonna just go ahead and glue that down, okay? All right, so you got that glued. So now the next thing you're gonna do, and let me see if you can see, I'm gonna do it right over here. I think you can see me. All I'm gonna do now is the part where it was folded now is gonna be open. Sort of like what you do when you open up an envelope. I have such a mess here, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna go here, just a hair, make it nice and even, but you don't need hardly anything at all. And you'll see that as I cut it, okay? And just go ahead and cut that little sliver. That's all that was, it was just that little sliver off. And now you have an opening at the top okay so the bottom where it's open gets sealed the top where it's folded gets cut okay so the next thing we're gonna do then is we're gonna come over here and this was just a half an inch I just drew a line a half inch in just to the top of the pocket here okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right there you can do this with a knife if you want I did it with a knife before which with my eyes was probably a better deal. <laughs> but cut that piece off. Cut that piece off. Okay. And that's why I just think it's better because that way, if you do it that way to cut out the notches, because if you cut the, cut the paper wrong and then fold it and something's not right, then you can't fix it and you have to start again. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna glue just these sides right here, okay? But you really don't have to do both. You just have to do one. So like I said, I pre-inked all of this. So go ahead and fold that up, okay? the way and that okay now for the sake of time I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue this side but for the sake of time I'm only gonna decorate one side because the other side is gonna be done in the same format now this is kind of fancy and elaborate it doesn't have to be um, I just got that wedding cake thing in my head 
And now see, you can see where this is not the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that down. Okay, like so. Yep, that'll work, good enough. Not perfect, but all right. Okay, so now comes the second piece, which I don't know where I put it. Hang on a minute, guys. I have it here, I swear. Here it is, here it is. Okay, let's put this piece to the side. This is your eight and a quarter by eight, okay? Eight and a quarter by eight. So you're just gonna go ahead and, oh, I probably had that wrong. Yeah, eight and a quarter by eight, and then you're gonna fold it in half again, okay? This one, you're going to take, now that this is open, and you're gonna slide it in here. And that's why I wanted it folded, and for my sake and for yours, I had it inked so I could have it all lined up, okay? So now the only thing you're gonna do here now is you are going to, let me remember how I'm doing this. Yep, okay. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna glue, peel this back. You're gonna glue this part here, okay? And then this part here, like a backwards L. All right, and that's all. So that glues this page down and that glues that down. Let me get my wipe. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same on this side. Let me make sure, ooh, oh, okay, that's all right. So we're gonna peel this back, the two pieces, so that it's open completely to the middle. And we're gonna glue here and here, okay? Right like that. I think I've got that right. I hope I've got that right. If not, we'll be doing this again. <laughs> okay, so essentially now, I'm gonna make sure that's good and dry. Um, let me get a card here. All right, so what you have now, and this is meant to go into the center. All right, let me um, just go ahead and line this up give it a good burnish here. I've burnished all the pieces before on their own, but not together. So it makes it a little bulkier. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so what you have then is a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and I need something skinnier, maybe. And then you have a pocket here. And this is too fat for it right now. But essentially, that's what it is. You'll have another pocket in here. This is the thing. Well, this is the card and it should fit. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to trim it down. I'm trying to get it in. Yeah, it's a little snug. I think I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit. But these are the ones that are going to go in here. Okay, they're going to slide in this way. But I didn't do these yet because of this. I'm trying to decide how I want to, what I want to do with the top edge of the card to make it look right over here. So they're not there right now. So that goes in like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is over here, I had gotten, and I haven't inked them. I'm trying to be careful not to flip them because I have them in an order. I have some little um, labels and I have some flowers. Now I am going to have to, I should take this sweater off because every time I wear this old junky sweater, I get it caught on something. Okay, I need to ink the edges, okay? And we're gonna work our way down. This one's gonna go on here. All right, and then this one is gonna go on here. Now these labels, hope I'm not working out of camera here, I'm trying to see what I'm doing, because I'm pretty close. I don't have the camera pulled up too high. Um, these are from, a little gnat flying around here. Um, 
this is tiny. It's called Souvenir Prints, and it's spelled differently, and it's really small for me right now, but I think it's, I'm trying to focus on it, but I can't really see it. I think it's S-U-V-E-N-I-R-E -E or something like that, but I'll put it in the uh, description box. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead, and I have these in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue these down. Let me close this. Remember, I'm doing this for the first time with you guys. <laughs> so, we're, uh, you know, like I said, I just got this wedding cake idea stuck in my head. It's not that I wanted or intended to make it look like a wedding cake. It's just that as I started cutting out the paper and, and trying things out, I was like, oh, you know, this looks like a wedding cake. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go ahead here and put this up here. Pull it in a little bit. Okay, right there like that. Let me get rid of this for a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and put this one on. So I hope everybody is doing okay and having a good a good day. Um, this is Saturday night for me. I'm not really sure exactly what time it is because I haven't found my clock that goes down in my craft area yet. So eventually, maybe by the time I retire, I will have everything out <laughs> and ready to go. All right, let's try to just straighten that out a little bit. Okay, so now what I have, and I'm just gonna run a little ink around the edges just a little bit, is some flowers. And I'm gonna put the flowers, I have to glue that one in, don't I? I did not do that. I did not glue it in. I forget how I glued it in. Let me think, I gotta think how I glued this in, guys. Um, okay. If, well, let me see if I can get this out of the way. I don't know if you can see this, and I should have done this before I glued it down, but you can see the edge of the pocket in here. Let me see if I hold it up. Can you see? <laughs> there it is. You see the edge of the pocket there? Okay, the edge of what, the, the insert. When I put the insert in, I should have glued it, so just to keep it from popping up and down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here and I don't have to do a lot. I'm just gonna put a little glue on it. I can get the glue to come out of my bottle. All right, that's good. Because we don't wanna seal up the pocket and I should have done that first. And I do apologize for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead. And like I said, you don't want to um, I'm trying to think. I don't think that's right. That's not right. Scratch that. Don't listen to me there. I'm going to try to unstick that glue. Okay, even though it's going in and out, that's okay right now because we can glue it down the center, which is fine. And that's what we're going to do. We'll glue it right in here. Okay, so I'm just putting a little line of glue and it doesn't have to go all the way down. I'm just gonna glue it right there and right there. Yep, that's close. Yep, I don't have it exactly centered, but that's okay. Okay, that should be all right. And here's the reason why. <laughs> because we have other cards that are gonna go in here, but let me go ahead and put this one on. Try to, I should have thought to fill up this bottle of glue before I started. And I'm going to have to see if I can get my husband to work on these lights for me because they're an old uh, type of fluorescent light. And, you know, we're not all happy about fluorescent lighting, are we? So we're going to go ahead and just put this one here like so and then I have another one but the fluorescent light I'm finding 
um, is very, very glaring for me. And, um, and because of that, because I don't have another light, I've got this kind of shadow from my phone, which is right above, right above the, uh, thing here. I'm going to, which way do I want this one to go before I put it down? I think that way. Okay. Um, so between the two, I'm having a hard time seeing. I'm really having a very hard time focusing um, with the one eye. So, because of course, you know, I don't have the sight in my right eye and it's making it difficult for me. I don't want to cover this lady. So we'll just put it there. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take another one. I'm going to open this ink just in case I need it. Um, so yeah, I'm having a really hard time focusing. And right now, unbelievable, I have a sty in my left eye. If it was going to come in an eye, you'd think it would come in my right eye where it, <laughs> where it really wouldn't bother me too much. But it's kind of, you know, when you get a really bad sty, it kind of makes your um, uh, eye kind of gooey. So I've got gooey kind of stuff going on in my my right eye on uh, my left eye and that's going to go in there okay so let's go ahead and get that down so i don't confuse myself and of course i can't see out of my right eye and then i've got this obnoxious um uh fluorescent light try to remember to stay in camera for you because like i said i'm i don't have a very broad picture up right now it's pretty close I should have pulled it up a little higher but I didn't so um yeah so I'm having just all sorts of difficulties here today so we're gonna go ahead and put that and I don't mind it I want to make sure you're probably getting my head in here um okay put that one there I'm gonna do this one So again, like I said, these labels are from Souvenir Prints, but it's spelled, I don't think it's spelled truly French, but I think kind of, <laughs> kind of like a play on French. I'm not sure, because I don't know. I, I don't speak, spell, write, read French. So, um, but anyhow, so that's where these labels are coming from. And let's go ahead and put, this one's gonna go this way. This one's a little shorter, which is all right. Get it under there. And another reason why I like using this three-in-one or um, Fabri-Tac, which like I've said before, to me, it's the same thing. I don't see a difference, smell a difference, you know. It seems like it's the same thing to me. So they're interchangeable as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this little cutout flower, try to get the edges just a little bit here and there. And we're going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to use this only because my um, art glitter glue is getting so low. I don't generally, like I've said before, I use um, paper, just, I do everything for the most part on copy paper. And, um, if I need to make it thicker for some reason, I can just go ahead and, uh, okay, just do that there. I can just go ahead and, um, you know, glue it to something. So my, all my cards have paper glued to them. Um, I, you know, put the design on the front and I rarely back the cards, but sometimes I do. Most of the time I just leave it, you know, whatever color it is. Okay, let's get this one. I think you can kind of see the idea coming together. Oh, you know what? I wasn't supposed to glue that bottom. Ugh. I was going to do something else to it. 
<clears throat> so we're going to have to fix that, <laughs> which is all right. I think I can manage. It won't be what you would do. You would, you would do this in the proper step, in the proper order, which I'll explain in a minute. I just looked over and saw in my big pile of stuff what I, what I meant. So just going to go ahead and put that one on there. Okay, and then we have these small ones. And we'll do that. So anyhow, um, yeah, so things are starting to get kind of busy with us. This is gonna go this way. Um, still on that big learning curve, I'm sure. The way things are going, <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to be maybe two years before I really get into the swing of things around here. Um, like I said, there's there's a lot of layers to a lot of what we do, particularly around the holidays. And um, it was a little bit easier for me in my other type of ministry um, than it is now. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this a little bit lower, and you'll see why in just a few minutes. Okay. And did I ink that one? I did. Okay. Um, so it just is going to be pretty, pretty busy. And like I said, what I used to do, I used to do the same things weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, whatever, all year long. It was the same task repeated over and over all year long. Um, however, <laughs> here, their tasks seem to be, the type of work we're doing now, the tasks seem to be um, much more layered and much more complicated. Mm, I think I think, <laughs> in my observance right now, um, to be a little convoluted and a little too much, it could be done easier um, and with less confusion, I think. Um, of course, that's just me. Uh, I may find that it has to be this way uh, once I actually do it. Um, I may find it's not as easy as I thought it would have been to do otherwise. Okay, so we're going to put these in here like that. Okay, glue the, oh no, no, oh rats, I did that wrong. All right, well, let's peel it up. I did do it wrong. I did it wrong, wait, I did this one wrong. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can peel this one up. No, it's going to have to stay that way. Okay. That one was supposed to be out here, but we'll have to just bear with it. This will be my prototype for my, for my idea book. If I ever get one made, <laughs> should see my, my, how I store my prototypes. They're just a bunch of pretty much white copy paper folded and thrown into a box, you know, folded into whatever the shape or design is. And then I just kind of throw them into a box. Yeah, so that's not great. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that one. Yeah, this one should have been on the outside, but that's all right. This is sticking my fingers. Okay, and then we'll put this one on. So, but I think because there's so many projects you know, for the community and for the church. Um, and some of them take just a few days. Some of them take several weeks at least to plan and to execute. Some of them take uh, several months to plan and execute, uh, particularly around the holidays. Um, like now, I'm preparing things now for Christmas. Um, little guy hanging off the end there. Okay, so now you've got an idea where we're going here. 
okay? So this is what I have, what I've done in advance. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna trim this bottom like I trimmed the top. Now that's not what you're gonna do before you glue this bottom shut. If this is an option that you want, you would do it before you glue the bottom shut. So I'm just reopening the bottom here, I hope, so that I can, ah, I think I got it. It's a little messy, I think I moved the ruler, but I think it's all open nonetheless. Let's just check, not quite, not quite, okay. Just gonna go right here. Yep, okay, that's good. All right, I'm gonna open this too. Let me get rid of that little piece. I'm just gonna pull my knife here to open. This is that, let's fix the mistakes Judy makes. Cause we all do make the mistakes, don't we? We all do. I see a little bit hanging here. Not that that would actually matter, but you know, I can see the white part there and it's not gonna matter. All right, so I've opened this bottom and here's the reason why, okay? I wanted to put this lace, if I can find an end, across the bottom, okay? trying to see which side is which. Not that it really matters, but we're gonna go ahead. I'm done with this, so let me get this out of the way. We're gonna go ahead. Yeah, and like I said, before you glue the bottom shut, if you want the uh, lace you know, trim on it, that is when you would do it. You'd put the lace trim on and then go ahead and glue the bottom shut, which should be your first step which of course is not my first step. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and stick this in because this would be a lot easier if this was not glued down yet. But I'm trying to work with it now that it's glued shut. Ooh, I've got a hair. Oh goodness, it's my hair, which is funny because it's up, <laughs> but Okay, so we want to make sure that we get that up and in as best as we can because we don't want the, you know, the seam part hanging out. We want that completely pushed up and in. So remember, this would get done <clears throat> before you glue that bottom shut. Not like I just did it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now. I glued it down, so now we're gonna glue the top down on top of that. Put the glue down here. Okay, stay. And glue that shut there. And then we're gonna go ahead, take the scissors, and I'm gonna cut just a little on an angle towards the edge of the pocket so it's not straight it kind of comes out this is a little straight but that's all right all right so that's going to go over there okay before I get started I'm going to take you and you and you and you and you and you come here and you and I want to trim these down because they are a little too wide now that I have glued it. So I'm gonna, what is with my hair? I really don't wanna lose any more hair, guys. I really don't. All right, I'm gonna make these just a little narrower. <clears throat> okay, that one. And I think you can still see me. I think I'm still in frame here. That one and that one. And like I said, I'm not sure um, how I'm going to cover these yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do at the top. Okay, so let me just go ahead and ink it. 
because this is not going to matter because it will be covered. It's one. Oh, I have to do the inside too because I did cut that away. I did, I did. We'll do that. I think you can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure. <laughs> Chances are it's going to depend. I'm trying to decide if I want to put, get up here, if I wanted to put a paper or two in here to make it like a small notebook, okay? But these are gonna go in here, all right? And something is still stuck here and I'm not sure why. Why am I stuck? There we are. Okay, so they're gonna go in here, which I think they might still be a little too wide. Might still be too wide. Well, it's snug. I don't really like things very snug. Okay, and I wanted it to come out here. Um, I might cut these down a little bit. I'm not sure, probably not, but I wanna get rid of this part because I want that layer to keep going, if that makes sense. Um, so let's try to get this one in this side now. That glue was still a little stuck. Let's make sure that nothing is stuck in here. Nope. Okay. And that one will go, perhaps. I think this one's still a little too wide. I think it's getting hung up on the lace. Oh no, I see what it's getting hung up on. We're going to have to find out how I need to glue that, if that works better. But I need to get this. I do need to glue it somehow. It did work in the other one because I glued the copy paper together. I'm trying to get this one to go in, but it does not want to cooperate. There we are. Okay, so I'm still trying to decide if I even want that. Now, here's the other thing, okay? This card, which is now two, I probably should not supposed to glue that there either. This card is gonna go in here. Okay. So I think what I needed to glue was just here. All right, get that one down. Okay. Nope, ignore that, I'll figure it out. Um, and then this one's gonna be the same thing. So let's just go ahead and open that. This one is gonna go, oh, well, that one got stuck because I glued it with the other thing. And that, oh, these papers that I've got here and here, well, with the exception of this, um, they look like this. These are two to a page. These are new from uh, G. Kerr's Happiness in Crafting, it is Vintage background paper or papers one, which sounds to me like she has more coming. Um, so, and I just left the cards blank on the back. Now, a lot of things, I really just, just got everything stuck down because <laughs> I kept sticking things together. So that goes there. And then these go on the bottom like this. And I cut these all, I keep gluing things down. I cut these all before I um, actually glued things. So that one is up a little higher. I may trim it only because I had to cut the bottom. And that one goes in here like so, same thing. And then these, and I may, because of this, I think you can see that, right? I'm off out the camera. Because, now this is cardstock, but because it's off of here, I'm going to line the inside and cut it so that this is glued to a, a backing paper inside. It'll give it more stability and it won't look like that. It'll look finished. And again, I'm still thinking if I wanna put a page or two uh, in here, I'm not sure. So these are gonna go in the top like so this way and this way. 
like that. And that one seems a little taller than the other, so I'm just gonna pull it out. Again, it's all how you glue it. But, and again, I'm not sure how I'm going to um, do that. I think I'm gonna have to trim these cards back because I think I've got them too long because only part of it can be glued. Um, so I just have to figure out how I want to do that. But this, and this is coming up. <laughs> this was supposed to be glued down. But anyway, that is the idea. Um, let me see if I can put it on something. This is one of the backing papers or uh, background papers from the um, paper cameo. So I'm just gonna put it on there so you can see. So essentially this is what you'll have. And to me, it sort of looks like a wedding cake. Um, it would go in, the, well, it can go in a signature. So this is on one side and then you'll see this on the other side kind of a thing. Or it can go in the center signature just like this um, with that on there. So. I'm gonna work on this and make sure that I've got it all uh, where it's supposed to be glued, the way it's supposed to be glued. And I'll just, you know, bring that back to you at another time, um, just to make sure that uh, this is understandable and easy to do. Uh, it, it really, I've made it complicated by doing all these fussy cuts. Um, it doesn't have to be that way, it could be plain. Um, if you just make it plain and then just put cards in the pockets, you can make it out of, like I said, you can make it out of decorative paper or scrapbook paper. Um, the construction is not hard. The decorating and knowing where to glue, <laughs> apparently, is the issue. So I'm going to stop that here for now. And um, there will probably be a part two to this. We'll just have to see. Um, guessing it won't come before next week. Uh, just because there's so much going on. I'm not sure when I'm going to get back down here again. So, but that's it for now, guys. So in the meantime, be happy, be safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.